check out the greenhouses. Oh. It's barely even staying frozen. Nice. That's a sign that spring's coming. The ground's getting soft. Oof. Look at that. We got ourselves a little condensation. All right. That's, uh, that's actually why I'm here this early today. Because it is make make me some vents days. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Almost all gone. I bet you this is a mud pit. Yep. Oh, it's going to be a fun day. But way up there is where I will be. It's already getting its green back. That is a dandelion. Or dandelion. And you are gonna come out. Anything that's coming up is just weeds. I think that's a few more. I'll show you a couple more. Look at that. I got grasses coming up. There's dandelions poking out of there. As soon as the soil, here's how, oh my. Are you kidding me? These greenhouses are awesome. Okay, I know that's a dirty finger, but I, I couldn't go any more than that outside. So this is after one week. These things have been up for eight days. And look at the weeds just coming back to life. Not on my watch. So let me show you the solution to those weeds. Over the winter, I've been collecting cardboard, uh, mainly from the uh, little local um, liquor store they break all the boxes down there's very little glue on them there's like no tape whatsoever and if they're strong enough to hold a whole bunch of liquid then they're good enough for me so I'm gonna start spreading those out in the greenhouse to start killing those weeds because they're gonna take over before I have a chance to do anything or before that grounds even able to be walked on so give me a minute I'll be back all right about a quarter of the way done I got the ladder over there and by the time I got back here my feet weighed about 25 pounds each so it's cardboard time before I do the vents, but everything in due time. Plans change, you know, that's the best part about having a plan is you can change it. So, cardboard time. Don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this is my little break. Turn that down before we get into trouble. Nobody likes getting into heck. You see these big fluffy flakes? Just gently falling. Must know that I just don't care. Look at how much is melted. This was our first test piece back in, oh goodness, when was that, November, December? I'm starting to see beds, woo -hoo! Look at this beautiful sight. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. And I still have, oh I gotta have at least that much left over, so. Whatever, I'm gonna chug along and uh, and uh, get going on the next one. Giddy up. So some uh, pre-cardboard prep work. Just stuff from last year. You know, stuff from this year. You know, a bolt there, part of the post that got cut off, that fell into the snow forever to be lost until now. Half a bolt there, these big rocks. That's like a micro-tubing line that used to go to irrigation last year. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Doesn't need to be in here. So, I'm gonna do a real muddy foot we'll first walk through, clean this stuff all up, and uh, then get laying some cardboard. You can already see like how much. This is the, uh, what would it be? It'd be the more southern greenhouse. Uh, so it gets the sun first. And just look at how much is going on. Like so much of that grass, that is just, that's already starting to spread as far as I'm concerned. And something else real interesting. Okay, so this hole here was the uh, the last post in my last greenhouse. So the greenhouse that was here 
this is where the end came to. So with the bigger greenhouses, you can see how much more. So you'll remember last year, maybe you don't remember last year, that was, yeah, that was a little full of myself. Um, last year, I laid a whole bunch of cardboard and then uh, covered it with hay just to see what it was gonna do to kill the weeds. So some of that, it's, we've encroached on that by expanding the greenhouses. So check this out. That's just stuck down there nice. There's not gonna be any light for any of those weeds. No, I'm not saying any. There's a couple of nasty ones. I'm not gonna bring up thistle because it makes me mad. But that's gonna take care of a ton of the grasses, a lot of the dandelions. So, and I'm going to reapply again. So anyway, just thought that was interesting to me. So I thought I'd show you. Okay, be right back. All right, the initial sweep is done and I kind of stumbled on something interesting. So check this out. Check that out, that's a post hole with some clover growing in there, but look at the water. So that means that the ground has thawed quite a bit down in here, because it'll sit on top of the frost until it can completely permeate and go back into the uh, groundwater, but that's pretty crazy, man. Those are like four foot holes, but what's this little sticky thing here? About nine, 10 inches? Whoa, okay, well, whatever. That's, uh, that's thawed a good ways down. I'm excited about that. Anyway. Found it interesting, thought I'd show you. All right, folks, here we go. I ran out of cardboard, so I'm gonna show you one of the places here in town that's been very kind, very gracious to me and allows me to come once a week and grab everything that they have. People talk about me, baby. Say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's walking into the infamous LA liquor store. Hi! What's going on, Tori? How much? I'm proud of you. Pretty good. How's the weekend? Good. Good. Got some cardboard for me? Sure do. Awesome. <laughs> oh, look at this little bit of happiness. Yeah. Whoa! Here for the men's senior hockey Allen Cup here in the cold. Oh, that's right. That's coming up here, right? Yeah. What, like next week? Yeah, it starts on Monday. Awesome. So it's like the senior men's hockey league. It's not pro, but it's where the pros go when they don't play pro anymore type of thing. Like they're, it's really good hockey and that's being held in town, the finals. I've never seen this much beer in here. I'm in heaven. Yeah, so let's hope there's some thirsty hockey Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are they ever can, not? Can I put some, what's the Vegas odds on that? Eh? Yeah, exactly. Make a couple quick bucks. Do Canadians that like hockey drink beer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Straight up there with bears pooping in the woods, right? Pretty much. Frog's ass is being watertight. Okay, here's our little cart. Uh, I'm gonna load up uh, and then I'll probably head to the recycling bin so that I can grab a little bit more. Say bye, YouTube. Awesome, bye, YouTube. <laughs> See ya. All right, here we go. This is the second greenhouse. And I didn't I didn't do any time elapse of me spreading out cardboard. I mean, give me a break. That's right up there with seeding videos, eh, Willie? <laughs> Anyway, I, got, I think I got one more load left to go. So that, that little bit I got from Tori this morning didn't quite finish her off, but super, super close. Now here's the thing. When I set up the ladder, uh, the feet are gonna be on uh, the bottom plate and then over here. So I am gonna be able to get cracking on these vents today and uh, away we go. Uh, one thing I'll mention with this is that I took uh, the heaviest, thickest cardboard and I, I rammed it quite far underneath the outsides. Uh, because I know that there was weed pressure obviously everywhere around here and I don't need to just cover up too to have it growing up on me. So anyway, there we go. On to the vents. Here we are. I got to rip down some more of the, uh, the rough cut lumber uh, to make some pieces for the vents. So I'll just show you how this works real quick. Power tool porn. Woo! Okay guys, so put the vents in here. This is uh, this is not going to be a beauty contest by any stretch of the imagination, but what I'm thinking is um, one center and fairly plumb piece in the middle, secure that in, and then put another couple of pieces in, and then just basically build a little, uh, a couple of little doors, and then I can put an opener on those. So anyway, I'll show you how I'm going to do this. 
Okay, so here's the center piece that I'm looking to put in. All I'm gonna do is just measure a piece that's a little bit longer than that. So 31 inches looks good to me. And I'm gonna hold it up there and template the back so that I can get the cut that I need to sort of fit in there. And I'll sink that screw head in a little more too. Be right back. All I'm going to do is just use the material as a guide and take my pencil and uh, mark it on the uh, on the wood where I want to get that cut. And then also just down here, since I cut this piece a little big, so that should give me an ideal fit for an unideal angle. Back to the saw. Fly for a white guy. Come on. Come on. Hey, oh. That is officially a spot. I think it's overkill, to be honest. But whatever. For demonstration purposes. Demonstration porpoises. <laughs> I don't think that's going anywhere. We just want to go an even distance off of each one. Uh, and uh, I was doing two feet, so why don't we keep that somewhat consistent? Two feet. Okay, so for a little test piece, I need. Well, probably at least 22 inches would be good. 22 should be good. I'm gonna go cut a couple of 22s. Be right back. Got a piece that's a little bit, a little bit long. Draw a level on her. And I'm just gonna mark that the left side. So I'll go make a couple of cuts, and I'll be right back. That one's a little off, but oh well. Each one of these is gonna be custom anywho's. Cut her a little short, oh well. Story my life. I'll get the board stretcher. This is an awkward angle to film from. It's an awkward angle to work from. Take a bottom measurement and then I'll take 23 and uh, three quarters. I want a gap on each side because again, none of this stuff is square or true. So cut a couple of those pieces. We might as well get a couple of template pieces while we're at it. I think 28. They give me overhang on each side. So 228, 23 and three quarters. 23. Here we go now. Exciting, exciting stuff. This will be putting people to sleep. I'm sure you can edit this in a more favorable light. <laughs> <laughs> nope, she's going up raw! No, no, she's not. <laughs> A little gapage on each side. 
some room for the hinges and room for boo-boos and oopses. Oh, and uh, because this is at an angle and going out, this top tip here is going to end up hitting back here. So I'm going to have to kind of chamfer some of that out of there so that it doesn't hit. But, yeah, anyway, I guess we'll uh, take a measure for our two side pieces. At 25, I should be able to template those. 18 and 25, okay. Okay, so let's see how this fits. So, it's our bottom piece. There's the side, we've got a little gap there, which is what I was hoping for. And, oh, good boy. I'll change that angle just a bit. Okay, so I'll go champ for this. And then I think I'll attach this all together and I'll bring it up here and we'll see how it fits. If I could have to run it through a table saw, you know, just to take a little bit off a side, then I can do that. So. All right, back down to the saw. All right, we'll take this up and see what it looks like. The camper that I was talking about, so that shouldn't catch on the edge now. We shall see. All right, so. I guess the next step is going to be uh, go on the outside. I'm going to put some bat battens down here and down here. And cut this poly up so that I can get the hinges on. So, back down the ladder. I'll save that and I'll use that on the, uh, the outside of the actual uh, fence. Cool. Ready for hinges. Let's put seven inches from each end. That should be sturdy enough. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Not too bad. Close enough for government work. Cool. So I'll just uh, I'll just get the other door made up there and then. I'll show you what she looks like when it's all finished. See you in a bit. Alrighty, here we go. We got her finished up. Vents in both of them. Check it out. That one there's a bit of a swinger. I'm, uh, I, was <laughs> I was waiting uh, to put the poly on uh, until I had the little thermostat controlled hinge that opens it. So it'll be, you know, when it's, when it's closed, it's closed. Which will help me put that on. And uh, I also want to see how that little thing fits onto here so that I'm not having to redo the poly. And I figure if I put poly on now and it's not sort of connected on on, uh, on this side, it's just going to blow around in the wind, which is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to leave those off for now, but we have ventilation. So there's a little bit of moisture left in this corner. I had this one done a day before this one. So I figure. I figure in a day or so that is going to be completely gone and uh, yeah there we go so just a little wrap up of the day might as well take a look at the front hey I think I've got just about everything cleaned up got the tools put away huh. fun day fun day I think it's looking pretty good so again I'll just leave this open to continue getting letting it air out uh, I do need a bit more cardboard and I think I have a plan for my little seating area. My little seating area. I think I have I have some extra four by fours, so I think I'm gonna cut them and then uh, pin some of these 16 foot longs to them and make two rails so that I can put pallets on them. And then if I run that down this side 16 feet and this side 16 feet, that will start to accommodate the amount of plants I got going in my garage right now. So anyway, that is how I made vents 
it ain't classy. There's some gaps there, you know. I mean, in the winter, what I'm planning on doing anyway is just putting another piece of poly here on the inside, and then that's sealed off, right? So it's not really that big a deal. The big deal was uh, was ventilation. I cannot believe how unbelievably hot it got in here and humid. So I think I have that problem licked. I am going to put some doors in the back, but not today. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.